Hey y'all, it's Livia, aka Floral Sims. Welcome to episode 4 of Naomi's World. My bad for taking two weeks to upload this. I've just been a busy, busy girl and I've also been working on updating the Port Sims save file again. Last episode, Chris and Naomi went to an art gallery and a few things went down. So first off, they showed up tripping off acid. There was like two versions of the same sim at one point. I was very scared. And then Naomi hallucinated her dead brother Dylan, but then it turned out to just be some dude. But then things took an interesting turn because they went upstairs to the movie theater. It was just them. They ended up actually hooking up outside of the art gallery and then they went back home and hooked up again. So this episode is gonna start the morning after all that. But yeah, before we get into anything, I'm gonna take y'all on a tour in a minute, but first I want to talk about the Discord server I just made the other day. I made it so we can all be little simmer friends, but yeah, I'm super obsessed with everybody in the server already. Everyone's like super funny and chill and a little bit unhinged. So yeah, if y'all want to be friends, make sure to join my server. I'll put the invite link in the description. And now we can get into the apartment tour. Okay, so starting off, this is their front door. It is fall, so I added a bunch of Halloween decorations to the apartment. Just a cute little ghost and this bat welcome mat. Then you walk in, nothing's really changed in this part. It's still kind of boring and empty. So you go in here, they've got a lava lamp, an ashtray, this is what it looks like from this angle. Then in the actual living room, not much has changed. I just added a couple more wall things. I didn't really change anything in the kitchen, I don't think, either. Their bathroom is still giving plain. I need to find a different CC shower curtain. Then you go back into the living room. Sign that says keep out unless you have really big boobs. Chris is a nerd, so I gave him a Naruto poster and he has a little T-Rex. So this is his desk area. Ignore the food that's glitching into the keyboard and the trash can that's like doing that. An old picture of him, Naomi, because he's obsessed. I am in love with the CC sunset lamp. This is what it looks like during the day, but I'm gonna make it nighttime so you can see like the full effect of the lamp. This is Naomi's room. I'm still not finished with it all the way. This corner is giving kind of plain right now, but this is basically just Scrunch's corner. Over on this side, we got like a vanity and a cute little coffin mirror. I got this sticker because it looks like Naomi's friend Cleo. We got her some elf bars around her room. There's like one under the bed, peach ice. Then I added some trinkets to the shelf. I'm a trinket fan. The sign says home is where the bodies are buried, period. Then on her side table, we've got Red Bull AirPods, another elf bar, and some chapstick, the essentials. And up here on her shelf, she has more creepy trinkets. But yeah, anyway, that's the apartment tour. Okay, so Naomi's still sleeping. I'll have her, like, sleep in a little bit longer. Rat bastard, like just dropped a nuke and disappeared. Trace signatures of radiation seem to be lingering by rat bastard's habitat. Thankfully readings are low enough to pose no danger to sims. Just what kind of trouble is that rodent getting into? I need to start wearing glasses when I record because I cannot see. I'm gonna have Chris serve some brunch real quick. He's gonna make silly gummy bear pancakes because he's in a silly goofy mood. <laughs> Look at his ass, oh my god. Okay, so he's sprinkling pepper onto the gummy bear pancakes. Okay, so the gummy bears are like literally melted and you can barely see them, but whatever. He's gonna grab a serving and then let's give some of it to scrunches. So he somehow threw it like behind the couch, okay. He's just kind of like reflecting on life right now. We're gonna have him call up Jax and give him the tea. Jax is like, you know how Naomi is, why are you torturing yourself? And Chris is like, you don't understand, like, I think we're really gonna get back together this time. And Jax is telling him to not be so delusional. Oh, by the way, I hope none of Chris's tattoos are, like, offensive. I haven't really paid attention to them. I only downloaded it for the Blink-182 one. But I don't know what the rest of these mean, and they're kind of scary. Like, there's literally a pig on a cross, like... 
Y'all, she's good, but my dog, Coco, like, literally has bronchitis. I didn't know dogs could get that. She went to the vet and she's, like, taking medicine now, but this bitch keeps wheezing every five seconds. But yeah, pray for Miss Coco, y'all. She's going through it. Naomi's waking up. She's like, oh my god, what the fuck did I do? And she's gonna go walk out there and it's gonna be kind of awkward. Chris doesn't know what to say, so he's just, like, twiddling with his thumbs. Do not play the PlayStation right now. You're ruining the moment. So he's asking her how she feels about last night, and she's like, um, can we pretend that didn't happen? She's gonna brush him off and give him the cold shoulder. So she's basically like, you know, it didn't mean anything to me. You gotta get over me and move on with your life. I should have never moved in with you. And he's like, well, you didn't really have much of a choice, did you? Basically, Chris is pretty much just like over her playing with his emotions. There was a little bit more to that argument, but my dog was kind of dying in the background. Naomi got upset. She was like, fuck you. I don't even want to be here right now. So she hit up her friend Skip, kind of told him what was happening. And he was like, bet, let's just go get some boba so you can calm down. Okay, so we're at the boba spot. It's actually on the same lot as the bar from a couple episodes ago. So Skip is kind of scolding her just because Chris is his friend too. And she's like, why are you on his side right now? Skip's like, I'm not on his side, but it is kind of fucked up what you did. And she's like, he knew exactly what he was getting into when he told me I could move in with him. Not Miss Girl in the bikini popping up, okay. Oh, she's pissed because he was like, why can't you just give Chris another chance? Like, come on, he's a good guy. She's like, um, hell no. He was trying to get married and shit, I'm not doing that. What a goof. Yeah, he likes funny sims, whatever. Everybody wants them to get back together except for Naomi. Now she's mad. But she'll get over it. She's like, come on, I was off my ass. I was literally hallucinating my dead brother. Ooh, now she is going to yell at him. She's just frustrated because she feels like nobody understands why she doesn't want to be in a serious relationship right now. Ooh. Not her, like, arguing with him, too. She's like, damn, anyway, can we just get some boba? Like, ooh, this is my favorite flavor of boba. And then Skip can get one, too. Skip can get, I guess, strawberry matcha. Okay, so now things are tense and awkward between them two, and they're sitting far apart from each other. She's like, fuck this. Naomi's definitely the type to have a Depop and overprice her shit that she found at a thrift store for like $2. So we're gonna have her just create a little look. Can I not use CC? I know this is a thrift store, but bitch what? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna make a super ugly outfit then. So jean jacket, of course. And then this skirt. Yas, it's giving Mormon. Period. Okay, so this is the look. We are going for Mormon chic LDS realness. And then I guess she can try to sell it on Trendy. I honestly don't really know how to use the app. List a look. Ooh, she can wear it. Oh my god, she's having an identity crisis. She's like serving Duggar though, we love it. Okay, I'm gonna put her in her regular outfit because that's actually hideous. Not her whole coochie being out and this dude just like saw it all. Alright, so we're at the bar now. London is working, but she's kind of just like not really doing her job. I'm gonna have Naomi just order a drink. She'll do it for group. Let's just drink some mimosas. Oh, by the way, this is Alexis. I didn't make this sim. She was made by Birdie Trait on Tumblr. I'll put the link in the description. But I thought she was super cute and looked like a sim that would be Naomi's friend. There are also co-workers at the cafe that Naomi just started working at. There's another sim by Birdie Trait too. And he works at the cafe as well, but he's like not coming over for some reason. So we're gonna talk to her a little bit. Discuss her uncomfortable mood. Maybe she's shy. We're gonna compliment her outfit. 
This then kind of looks like a Viking, so we're gonna go talk to him and flirt. He's drinking a root beer float. Is he like sober or something? She's like, hey. Ooh, he's feeling it. Nami's feeling stressed out about the Chris situation, so she's gonna be like a dumb bitch and just flirt with any guy she sees. And London is like, oh my god, what is happening? Skip is stepping in too. He's like, what is this bitch doing? Y'all, I feel like a dumbass because I still don't know where like all this stuff is. Let's get to know him. Ooh, we can ask him for money. I wouldn't really consider that small talk, but let's ask for a small loan. Why do they literally have 30,000 simoleons right now? We're gonna set that back. What is this bitch wearing? Oh my god. Koi smiles and flirtatious jokes have set the tone for romance. That's just... Enthuse about cats, like, she's gonna tell him about scrunches. This outfit has me so distraught, like... She's giving It's a Small World. It's only 8.30 and Naomi's not drunk yet, so we're gonna get her some more drinks. We're gonna order her favorite drink, I don't know what that is. But we will see. Oh my god, bar lots are overwhelming, like there's so many sims talking. Cream cola, okay loser. Let's talk to Alexis real quick. Fish for compliments. And we're gonna give her a compliment too. Oh, that's cute. They should dance together. She can't dance, but this dude's gonna like break it down with her. Let's just flirt with him too. We're feeling messy. I don't want to get a copyright strike on my channel, so I can't play The Sims music, but it's so funny. Oh! What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was so scary. This bar is haunted. So she's gonna pee real quick. She's not even drunk for real. She is feeling irritated from premenstrual syndrome, period. Literally. She didn't even wash her hands. Where is she going? All right. Just because your best friend works here doesn't mean you like own the place, but okay. Oh my god, and now there's an alien. Uh, go away. I thought that was Chris for a second, that scared me. The way I've been like ignoring the rest of the Sims' needs, like they're not in the household right now. Like Alexis is struggling and drenched in blood. There's definitely a mod in my game that is like fucked up and I don't know which one it is and I don't want to know right now. Oh my god, who is this? Jeremy. Why do we already know him? We're gonna flirt with him though. Because he is definitely Naomi's type. He looks like a little mouse. Ooh, he's romance oriented. Let's ask him where he works. Does he have a job? Ask about degree. Ooh, did he go to college? What? Is he gay? Ooh, he has an economics degree, but he's not interested in her. Oh my god, no, he's gay and he's married. Fuck. Oh no, okay, awkward. Why the fuck is James Turner in my game? Which I guess makes whoa. <laughs> that was that was a crack. I guess nobody wants a drink. Knox, we can flirt with you instead. Let's sweet talk him. Suggestive conversation. Declare love publicly, bitch, you don't even know him. Let's talk about eco lifestyle. Naomi's gonna pretend like she cares about recycling. Let's just talk about the rain real quick. Ooh. Okay, so she thinks he's attractive and they have neutral chemistry. Ooh, okay. All right, it's midnight, so we're just gonna like go home. Let's just express admiration. Thank her for coming out. She's like, it was nice seeing you. I'll see you at work, but we gotta leave because there's a scary ass alien. Goodbye. All right, so Naomi's home now. She's a little bit hungry. We're just gonna have her eat some of these pancakes that have been sitting there since this morning, but she doesn't care. She's nasty. Chris is like asleep right now, so She's not gonna have to like deal with the awkwardness until the next day. All right, so after she eats, I'm just gonna have her draw something. Okay, something is definitely broken in my game because the sketch pad and the drawing just like vanished from her inventory. So I can't show y'all what she drew. It's like super secret and private, but we're gonna call scrunches to eat because we haven't fed her all day and we're neglecting her. 
And then, not her dripping blood too, like, hello, why is everybody on their period? So we're gonna have her use the tampon because she's bleeding right now. And then, since she is dripping blood, I'll have her take a bath. She's gonna take a mud bath. She deserves it, even though she doesn't actually because she's evil. What? What the fuck? Then after she takes a mud bath, she can just brush her teeth and go to bed. Alright, so she's in her shit bath and her legs are glitchy. But you know what? She's going through a lot of different emotions right now, so we're just gonna like let her chill. Yeah, she's just like brushing her teeth and then she's gonna go to bed. Not her leaving the water running like she wasn't just trying to pretend that she cares about the environment to Knox. Yeah, she's just going to bed now. Alright, so that is the end of this episode. Things are a little bit awkward between Chris and Naomi right now, but hopefully by next episode they can kind of get over themselves. As long as Chris doesn't find out that she was just at the bar like flirting with every dude she saw. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to join my Discord server so we can all be friends, the link will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. Mwah.